this is the perfect pasta that we're going to make today because it's got five different veggies in it red onion, celery, mushrooms, peas, and spinach. But then it's also so hearty and creamy and warming and just unreal for the winter. So it's going to take you kind of 15 minutes start to finish. Easy peasy, and I feel like you're going to love it. So the first thing we're going to do is make our super creamy cashew sauce. And all you need here is some toasted cashews. Um, just make sure they're cooled before you add them to the blender. Then we're gonna add our nutritional yeast, which looks a bit weird, but it adds really brilliant, brilliant flavor if you're not using a cheese. Then we're gonna add a little bit of tamari just to kind of increase that flavor, a bit of depth, pinch of cayenne pepper to make it a little bit warm, squeeze a lemon, salt, pepper, and then just some oat milk. And then you're just gonna blend that up until it's really, really nice and smooth and totally creamy. <laughs> So once it's all nice and blended, just pop that to the side and we're going to start with our veggies. So so many veggies in this pasta. Um, we're going to start with a red onion, celery and garlic. Just chop those up till they're nice and fine. And then we're going to pop them in a frying pan. Bit of salt, olive oil and then dry thyme and get that cooking. You want to let that cook for kind of five minutes to ten minutes until it really starts to soften. And while that happens, chop your mushrooms, boil pasta, get the pasta cooking. Once your celery is nice and cooked, you're just gonna stir in the mushrooms. And once those are stirred in, we're gonna add our peas. Okay, so we now got our mushrooms and our peas in here. I'm being really lazy with my peas and just cooking them in the pan, but if you prefer to boil them, you absolutely can. And now I'm just gonna add a little bit of fresh basil. Um, and then I'm gonna wilt in our spinach. And this is the end of the recipe. Once this is wilted, then we're gonna just stir in our sauce, make that really nice and warm, and then just gently mix through our pasta and you've got your easy peasy, five veggies, creamy, brilliant happiness bowl right there. Okay, so once your veggies are cooked, your sauce is made, your pasta's ready, we're gonna add it all together. So first of all, I add the sauce to the veggies just so that you can really stir that up and create the right consistency. If it's looking a bit thick, you can add a little bit more milk here as well, so definitely just play that by ear. And then once it's all come together really nicely, now you just stir through your pasta. And again, if it's feeling too thick for you, you can always add a bit more milk at this point or just a splash of water just to thin it out. Stir it all up so it's nice and warm and then we're gonna serve it. And I'm just gonna serve it with a sprinkling of thyme to add a little bit of green, black pepper, and um, you can always add a touch of basil as well if you want at the end just for another pop of green. Okay, so easy pasta. Matt and I have been making this so much at home because it's just such a nice way to get loads of portions of veggies in. You can really use up any veg you've got in the cupboard. You can have things like courgette slash zucchini um, to things like this as well. And it's just like really hearty, perfect comfort food, dreamy Sunday night dinner if anyone's watching this and wants to make it today. And um, you can always make extra of the sauce as well and freeze it. Um, and also you could then add it to like roasted veggies and things like that. So definitely don't just use it on pasta because it's just a really yummy little recipe. So um, happy cooking everyone and can't wait to hear what you think of this one.